I see a hot air balloon. I see a hot air balloon. Beautiful. Describe this balloon for me. Very colorful. Mm -hmm. From what perspective do you see this balloon? From below, above, or are you in, on it? In front of? Mm hmm. With a basket? Tell me more. Is somebody in the balloon? There's a crowd of people around. Mm hmm. And, um,. There's other balloons in the air. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a man talking, um, trying to get someone to go up in the balloon. Mm -hmm. And the observer of this man, look at yourself and tell me what you look like there. A woman. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Um, kind of fluffy clothing. Mm -hmm. How long is this clothing? A long dress. Mm -hmm. Lots of like lace or ruffles at the chest. What do you look like? Um, what do I look like? Let's start with your feet. Take a look at your feet. Look down. What do your feet look like? Kind of pointy toed mm -hmm. old shoes. Very thin. Um, Souls. Tied shoes. Tied shoes. Mm -hmm. And look at your hands. What do you have on your hands? You're holding anything? Well, a ring on my right hand. Mm -hmm. Maybe a blue sapphire. Anything else? Young hands. Mm -hmm. How old are you? My twenties. Mm -hmm. What about your hair? What does your hair look like? I think it's done up in a off off from me, mm -hmm. off my shoulders with strands falling down its blonde. Mm -hmm. Are you there by yourself or are you with someone there? Take a look around you. Oh, I think a small boy. Mm -hmm. Who is a small boy with you? I think maybe my son. Mm -hmm. How is he reacting to these balloons? He wants to go in it. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next. So we pay the man and we get in the balloon, the basket, and someone else is going to go up with us. Mm -hmm. And what do you see happen inside the basket? We just... He actually lifts me up and puts me in, mm -hmm. and puts my son in. And then he hops in. And then it's like heat or hot air. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. And, um, and it's just us three. It's a, it's a it's a young kid going up with us. Mm -hmm. 
So what happens as this balloon begins to go up? We're very excited. What do you see? And so the balloon starts to go up. There's sandbags around it. I think they dropped some of the bags. Mm -hmm. And untie the knots and heavy ropes. And so it starts to climb. And we see farmland around us, cows. And the crowd of people, it's like a fair. Mm -hmm. And then we're going up higher and higher. My son is very excited. How old is your son? Um, 12. Mm -hmm. What do you call him? Jerry. Mm -hmm. Take a look at Jerry's eyes. The eyes of the portal, the window to a person's soul. And as you look into those eyes, see if you recognize those eyes in someone that you know. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's continue on this ride and see where it takes you. So it's kind of windy. The basket's rocking a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's a summer day. Mm -hmm. The sun is out. And what do you see beyond in the sky? Clouds and blue sky. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, it's a panoramic. It's a higher perspective. Mm -hmm. It's and it's happy. Very good. Freedom, happy. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and now let's move to another scene in that same lifetime that impacted you. Allow yourself to be there now. Where are you? I want to say a barn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's happening in that barn? Animals, chickens, and goats, and it's a farm. Mm -hmm. Is this where you live? I think so. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed there? Take a look. Kind of like burlap clothes. Mm -hmm. Scratchy. Think of milk and the cows. Mm -hmm. Is that your responsibility? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there with you? No. I'm carrying the pails to the house. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what this house looks like. What does your house look like? Um. It's a couple stories. It's a good size house made of stone and a thatched roof, mm -hmm. grass, and um, the kitchen is has like a fireplace and kettles for cooking. Mm -hmm. And who cooks in this kitchen? I do. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else that lives in the house with you? Yeah, I, I have a husband. Mm -hmm. I see him out in the fields. Um, 
um, animals are pulling like a wagon. Mm -hmm. He's a hard worker. What does your husband do? He farms. Mm -hmm. Is this your farm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is your responsibility? Oh, I do all the inside chores and the cooking, and I even help out in the fields. Mm -hmm. And um, and um, we take the food to market, mm -hmm. and we trade, and we provide, you know, for ourselves and our family. Mm -hmm. I, How do you feel about your life? It's peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else that you see that's important for about your life? Um, we have we have good people that live around us, mm -hmm. neighbors and community and friends. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's peaceful. So now I'd like for you to close that scene, and let's now move forward in that same lifetime to another event that impacted your life. Be there now. <laughs> I see a blue ribbon at the fair, mm -hmm. something winning something for a pumpkin, mm. a large, large pumpkin. Is this your pumpkin? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, we, well, my son grew it. How do you feel about winning this blue oh, ribbon? I feel proud for him. He's, mm -hmm. he's a hard worker and he helps out. How old is your son now? Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else important about this? Uh, no. No. So let's close that scene and now let's move to another important scene in that same lifetime. Be there now. What's happening? What are you sensing? Hmm. Where are you? Um, I have an aunt mm -hmm. who I'm close to. She's she's pretty old. What's happening with your aunt? Um, she's in bed. She's old and she can barely talk. Who cares for her? Um, who cares for her? She has, she has a she is a woman that cares for her, mm. maybe a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. And how has this scene impacted you? What do you feel? I think I'm sad. Mm -hmm. She has gray curly hair. I'm sad. I think she's going to be departing. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to connect with her soul. Do you recognize that soul in the lifetime of Gail? You know, it came up as my grandmother mm -hmm. on my father's side. Mm -hmm. You will sense it and know it. Yeah, I think she's Grandma mm -hmm. Banser. Mm -hmm. And we have a stronger connection in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. She's 
she might have helped raise me. Maybe she raised me instead of a mother. Mm-hmm. So I'm very close to her. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and now move to another important scene in that same lifetime. When you're older. Where are you? I'm in my um, living room with there's a braided rug and there's a fireplace Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting in a rocking chair just kind of rocking maybe doing some knitting Mm -hmm. how old are you there I'm probably Oh my gosh, I want to say my 80s. Mm-hmm. Who is in your life now? Mm-hmm. I think the kids are grown up and gone. Um, there's a dog, a golden retriever. Mm-hmm. I can't tell if my husband is still there. You will know it. Um, Reach for that information inside. Where is your husband? If he is no longer with you, You will know what happened. Hmm. Um. What do you sense? I sense, um, that he might have passed in some kind of accident. Mm -hmm. Either chopping wood or a hunting accident. Mm -hmm. That's what comes to me. Very good. Is this a long time ago? No, not too long ago. Okay. Very good. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself on the last day and tell me where you are. Look all around you. Yeah, I'm in my bed. Mm-hmm. Are you alone or somebody with you? No, my kids are with me. My a son and I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. And maybe some neighbors. What is it that you're dying of? I want to say consumption. Mm -hmm. That's what TB. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you feeling? My lungs giving out. Mm -hmm. What are the things that are going through your head as you're taking your last breaths? Do a scan of your life. Mm. How has this life been? It's been peaceful and happy. Um, loving family, Mm -hmm. relaxing lifestyle, not a lot of pressure. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that life. Allow yourself to leave that body behind. And as you do, I'd like for you to tell me what happens as you journey away from that body. I float above. Mm -hmm. What do you see? See my body down below. Mm -hmm. And um, people are sad. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to comfort them, my children. What do you tell them? I'm passing on and it's natural Mm -hmm. and it's a good thing for me now Mm -hmm. 
and that I love them and that's just like birth and death mm -hmm. so as you've been birthed again in this new light body I'd like for you to continue on your journey tell me where you go after you leave that scene behind leave that body behind where do you go I'm just kind of um, floating and going above the earth mm -hmm. looking down at it it's so blue and I'm in space what do you see in space stars and hmm. um, what else what catches your attention Um, maybe like a a, a space vessel, a ship. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Very vast. Mm -hmm. What do you do as you see this vehicle? I go inside. Mm -hmm. What do you see when you go inside? Describe it for me. Um. There's a, a circular navigation control room with seats mm -hmm. and I think there's beings on the ship. There's other beings. Mm -hmm. What do these beings look like? Um, there's a variety of them, mm -hmm. short and tall and um, humanoid forms. There's tall, very thin, big pink heads, mm -hmm. skulls, slanty eyes. Mm -hmm. Who are these on this, these beings on this ship? Who are they to you? I want to say Andromedans. Mm -hmm. they to you what connection do you have with, with some them? kind of connection mm -hmm. so take a look at your own body in that ship do you have one um, what do you look like on that ship um, I keep seeing a, a tall slender very tall and thin mm -hmm. I I don't with light around it what kind of light do you see white light around it mm -hmm. is this what you look like or someone else um very long fingers mm -hmm. how many fingers do you see six and what about the feet? What do they look like? Very long, um, very long and slender feet. Mm hmm. Do they have toes? Um, take a look. Toes. What's on the feet? Are there any? Kind of like a sandal. Like a sandal? Yeah. The whole foot is together? They're sort of humanoid, but, um, you know, very long, like size 11. Mm hmm. And sandals. Mm hmm. Very sparse shoes. Sparse shoes. 
Do they have toes, though? Uh, Can you tell? Toes. Or are the feet inside the sandals? They're very bony. They're the bony. feet are very bony. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm not really seeing toes. I'm just seeing kind of... The sandals. Bony feet. And, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. the sandals hiding it. What about the face? Take a look at the face. The face is, um... The face is... Big eyes, mm -hmm. big slanty eyes. Not much of a nose or mouth. Mm -hmm. Great big forehead and skull, big, big head. Big head. Well, compared to a human, yeah, mm -hmm. big head. And who is this being? You know what? Maybe it's my guide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, ask him. I'd like for you to connect with him now. Mind to mind, soul to soul. His words will be your thoughts. Who is he? <laughs> he's a he's a light being mm -hmm. of blue blue ray, blue light. Yeah, he's he's a blue ray, he says. He's a blue ray. Yeah. And what is the purpose of bringing you to this ship today? Um, to be comfortable mm -hmm. and to to know the ship, to know the people, to mm -hmm. know this guide. What is the Just, reason? Um, Why do you need to know them? I don't know. It's like they want to, um, <laughs> they want to share what their mission is. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what their mission is. Why have you been brought on this ship? What do they need to show you? It seems like they have healing technology mm -hmm. for humans. Yes. And it's light. Are they going to show you some of this healing technology now? Um, I'll ask them. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a circular device, and it's got all different colors of light mm -hmm. um, that are projecting out from it. And they can shine one or combinations of be beams of mm -hmm. light. Mm -hmm. And where do they project those beams of light? Um, down to humans. If they allow, they feel it as energy um, coming into their bodies. And the lights represent different um, different knowings, maybe different memories and awakenings and healings and um, love energy. How big is this circular device? It's not that big. It's like a like the size of a basketball. Mm -hmm. And it is something that needs to be programmed to send this light, or does it automatically just send this light out? It's, by I think it's crystal technology. It's crystal technology. Yeah. Very good. So, what what is the role that you play on this ship as you learn about this? I don't know, but he said that we had the technology in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. And what happened to it? It got destroyed, or they might have had to take it back. Mm -hmm. Why was this light taken back? 
what was so powerful about it that it had to be taken away? Not, not being used in the right way. Ah, what was it being used for before? To put into hybrids. Mm. Very good. So let's find out your role in all of this. What do you need to know on this ship? What is the reason why you're there at this time because learning? Because I'm a healer. Ah. So how does this healer need to use this information? Hmm. Um, m maybe this technology will be available again, mm -hmm. and I know how to use it. Very good. And I'd like for you to ask your guide if it has a name. Eldo. Eldo. <laughs> Eldo. <laughs> Is Eldo male or female? And not, and, and. It's both? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the word? Androgynous. Androgynous. And on this ship, as a visitor on the ship, do you have a body? Do you have a personality? I think I'm more light. You're more light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when is it that you visit this ship? Um, just on my way going up. Mm -hmm. What happens? What happens as you go up and visit this ship? So the ship is going out of phase. Mm -hmm. It travels very fast. Mm -hmm. Where does that leave you, this light being? Um, so, I, I, let's see. They're showing me the how the ship travels. Mm -hmm. What does it use to travel? It's um, he says it's like plasma technology. Mm -hmm. um, it's clean energy. Mm -hmm that doesn't emit anything. Tell me more. It's, um... What do you receive from this? It looks like, um, a big ball, mm -hmm. like a big ball inside of a chamber, sort of. Uh huh. Um, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. And, um, I don't know the technology of it. Does it create the energy for I the I think ship? it spins. It spins, okay. I think it spins. And it, cr it creates the energy f to propel the ship? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Is there anything else that Eldo would like to show you about this ship? Um. What else would he like? I don't know. He says, you know, you can stay here and and um, you can stay here for a time. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? What do you decide? Do you stay or do you continue in your path? Um, I 
I think I stay for a short time and learn some more, and mm -hmm. then I go. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene, see yourself leaving that ship behind. And where do you go next? What's the next important place that you need to go to for information? What do you visit next? I see like a waterfall mm -hmm. and a lot of greenery. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, um, pools of water, reflective pools of water and maybe crystals and um, and like bathing in these pools and cleansing and maybe healing mm -hmm. and resting and um do you have a body in this place hmm take a look at the body um focus on the observer of this place do you have a body there i can have a body but i don't have to have a body mm -hmm. i can be in light form and, and even the body is very, very lightly outlined. Very good. So now that you're in this beautiful place, let's identify what this place is. Where are you? You know what came to mind is Venus. Mm. Venus? Mm -hmm. Inside? Are you inside of the planet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. What else do you see inside? Just a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Where is this light coming from? A lot from? of love. Um, all around, there's just light emanating. Mm -hmm. it's, so. it's wet, and it's just a place of beauty, what I, what I would consider beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, in this place where there's so much beauty, is there some sort of an atmosphere or sky? Take a look around. Mm, no, it's more like light particles, mm -hmm. light, white, light. Light particles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, it's like dust particles of white light. And these dust particles, do they emanate w light? To create an atmosphere there, a light atmosphere? Yeah, mm -hmm. the light is just, um, it's coming from all around, like like maybe the cavern walls and mm -hmm. ceiling and floor and um, is just emanating light, maybe like an effervescent light. Beautiful. Yeah, because it's like sparkly, sparkly. So what is it that you're doing in this place? Take a look at yourself, the observer. Yeah. What do you do here? Um, What's your role in this place? Maybe. Grounding? Mm -hmm. Grounding. You're grounding in this place? Grounding the light. Grounding the light. Now, by, when you speak about the light, are you speaking the light as far as the dust particles or a different type of light? Um, what kind of light are you grounding? Yeah, just... Being part of the light. Being part of the light. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So now let's leave that scene. Leave that scene behind. And let's find another scene in that same lifetime, that same place where you are. That was important. That impacted you. What is in this place that's important? Mm. Do you stay here long? I 
I want to say like strings or roots, maybe a root system. I see like a vast underground root system. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to follow this root system and see where it takes you. It's, it's um, encompassing all of Earth. Mm. It's all around Earth. Where is it coming from, this root system? Trees mm -hmm. and vegetation and plants and um, it's um, kind of a col collection, collective, a collective. A collective. It's a collective of the trees. So I'd like for you to tell me how you're seeing this. Are you seeing it close up or are you seeing it through some sort of technology? What do oh, you see? Just kind of knowing You're it. just knowing it. All right. So let's find out what your role is yeah. in knowing about this root system. What do you need to know? Um, it's an example of, um, of interconnective mm -hmm. connectedness on Earth, and it's energetic, and it's such a vast network and the trees are very old and wise and have a lot of knowledge and wisdom mm -hmm. and it's stored in the roots. So how is it that one tree communicates with another that is not connected to each other? Take a look and see. I think they're all connected. What do they connect with? Well, they're energetic, the mm -hmm. roots, the soil, it's all, mm -hmm. it's all one. So does the soil send the energy of the roots to each other? Is that it? Um, the water. The water The does. water can connect mm -hmm. in between. Is there water underneath the root system? Yeah, there's water everywhere around the roots, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the, the water carries the information from one tree to the other? Yep, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Very good. And crystals can carry the energy. Very good. So Water, is, water and crystals, water has similar properties. Yep. So what kind of information is being sent? I'd like for you to hone in on this information. I want you to become part of this root system, part of the vegetation, and tell me what you receive. What kind of energy is being sent? Um, the distress on the surface of the planet. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the weather patterns, the, the, more in, the intensity of the weather patterns, mm -hmm. sort of a ramping up. Um, what do these trees communicate when they're, the weather is, is getting... They're, they're putting out hot spots. Hmm. They're connecting telepathically and then the weather is putting out hot spots. And what does the hot spots do? It's bad energy. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of healing to rid some of the negative energy. Hmm. So when the the weather comes in, it takes care of this negative energy? Does it do something to it? Um, the trees do something to it. The well like like the water, hurricanes, mm -hmm. rain yes. can cleanse it. Sometimes it's burned off the surface through fire. Mm -hmm. So the elements that work with the earth, yes. the water, the yes. wind, the earth, all yeah. of this works to cleanse the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what happens when there is a hurricane and many of these trees topple over? 
Does that hurt this root system? No, because they're all connected and they're more of a collective con consciousness than individual. Okay. So the trees are a collective collective consciousness around the world? Yes. Around the earth? Yes. Okay, good. Can you connect with these trees now and see if they have a message for you? What message do you have today? Um, we're kind of thanking each other and appreciating each other. Mm -hmm. um, they're saying that I help ground the earth. Mm -hmm. And What else is said? And that I can be telepathic with them. Very good. Yeah. So let's yeah, do... Yeah, I can put my hand on the trunk mm -hmm. and I can communicate. Very good. So now I'd like for you to see a tree before you. I'd like for you to see yes. a very large tree, very yes. wise tree. And I'd like for you to connect with that tree and get some information about the ascension. What the ascension is doing, mm. not only to the trees and the vegetation, but to the humans and those living on the planet. What information does a tree have to give today? Um, that they've seen um, times in our history before of um, energetic changes, more rapid changes. Um, they've seen They've seen um, wiping out of civilizations. Mm -hmm. um, they've seen civilizations be restarted. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe helped from the inner earth people. Mm -hmm. And And they've seen history repeat over and over mm -hmm. at different times. They've been around for millions of years. And um, it's a natural process not to be frightened that we know. We, we know more than we think we do. And it's a gradual process. Um, it's a, it's an upgrading of our energy mm -hmm. and a changing of our physical bodies and our DNA. And it's more soulful communication, mm -hmm. communication with our souls, our higher selves, and much more connection to source energy um, it's advancing evolving moving up moving into our knowing mm -hmm. being more aware and more um, complete of who we really are lifting of the veils and um,
So what is the difference? What will people feel? For example, I've been told we are living in the third dimension. 3D. What is the difference between 3D, 4D, and 5D? What are the different perspectives? Is there any difference? 3D is more egoic consciousness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, more attachments mm -hmm. to material. Um, and highly programmed mm -hmm. living in a type of um, trance, not in a good way. Yes. Um, programmed in not even knowing it mm -hmm. and being automatic and not really um, connecting with the elements and all the resources we have around us, being shut off and separated. And so a much harder existence, not um, feeling that separation and limitation, having the experience of that, and, and, and a struggle, more of a struggle and a harder existence, mm -hmm. and not being able to manifest easily. So what about the 4D? What do you see as you shift into the 4D? 4D is... Um, waking up from the programming, mm -hmm. being more aware, being um, self-responsible for um, patterns and personality healings and um, being more loving and kind and coming from a place of sharing and love and heart-centered. Mm -hmm. um, not being reactionary, but being sending love ahead of you, um, being proactive with love as the main connection. Yes. And what happens when one shifts into the 5D world? Is it something permanent, or do we move back and forth for a while? Well, it's so gradual that it's like oscillating back and forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 5D is much more knowing of higher self, um, much more integrated ego, mm -hmm. um, and leaving behind the veils and the separation and just flowing and ease of living and connection with other people and the elements and all the consciousness, everything is living and alive consciousness and feeling more one with that consciousness, deeper sense of knowing, living even more heart-centered, um, less physicality, less density, um, not needing food as much, those attachments fall away. Um, so much more light beings and being able to exist through the sun and light and air and um, very high density green foods. So where is it that Gail is now? Is she teeter-tottering between one and the other? Where is she? <laughs> All of the above, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So how does she know when she's on a certain dimension? For example, she had a lot of concerns about the stock market, about making enough money, value of the, of the gold and silver and bitcoins. When one is in that state, what dimension is that? Yeah, that's more of a lower state, that's more 3D and um, not um, using your full potential and being um, having that limitation, lack, separation experience, mm -hmm. and less alignment. The more alignment you have, the higher up the dimensions you move into. Mm -hmm. And most of the times when she's on the beach and um, she's more in fifth dimension and more in alignment, mm -hmm and um, 
She can feel um, her thoughts change over and her and just the knowing deepen and um, just being happier, mm -hmm. more content, more in appreciation and joyful. So those those are like each end. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we've been told that there are different earths, that there is a splitting of the earth. Is this an actual splitting, or is it just an awareness? Or I a think yeah, I think that's kind of a th third dimensional way to look yes. within the physicality, but it's more of an energetic vibrational frequency mm -hmm. um, accessed by your state of being mm -hmm. and your alignment, how, how, how aligned you are in the present moment is how to access okay. 5D. So, so how does she access 5D? Which, through which, through that alignment, through beauty. Mm -hmm. Beauty is a huge portal for her nature. Um, all the critters and creatures and animals, the love for them, that connection. Um, but we come back to Earth when we talk about relationships. And there are those in her life that are living in situations that are not very 5D. Why she, has she chosen to live with alongside? So much, mm, to be the example. To be the example. Yeah. But this example can't pay the bills just by being happy, can she? Well, the more in alignment and the more in the present moment, the more you'll have the higher direction and guidance. Mm -hmm. Would you tell me a little bit about her relationships. I know that she chose to be here, but why does she choose to live in the relationships that she came to live with? These were difficult relationships. Aspects of refining the personality to balance it, mm -hmm. to allow it to recede, and to move beyond and to let go of that focus. Mm -hmm. Very good. So would you take her now to the moment where she selected these family members? I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, we will be at that planning of this life of Gail. Five, going back through time and space now. Four, going to the planning of this lifetime. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. What do you experience? I'm... I'm at a... I'm at a table with my guides. Mm -hmm. How many and, guides and the, are with you? The table's kind of a cross section of a tree. Mm. And, and I'm with I, four comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Four guides. And these guides and you, what are you discussing? They're a little pushy. Mm -hmm. What do they say to you? You'll be able to connect? You'll be able to handle this lifetime. Mm -hmm. I have reservations. Why do you have reservations? Because it's too much. What is the purpose for you doing To this? wake up. To wake up. Yourself or others? Myself and others. Mm -hmm. What are you waking up to? Source energy. Mm -hmm. Do you know source energy where you are now? With your in guides? this place mm -hmm. with my guides. Yes. Yeah. So why do you need to experience this waking up? That's a in good a question. Three D 
Go ahead and ask. Yeah, that's a good question. Why do you need to experience something that you already know? Yeah. What's the importance of it? To... Oh. <laughs> the... F wow. The friction grinds down the darker aspects of myself. Mm. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. So these darker the aspects... The shadows and the dark aspects get ground down and smoothed, mm -hmm. as they're telling me from a physical plane. Mm -hmm. Energetically, it's um, to know all the range and aspects to be that fractal for source and to know that total range of being in the most limited, separated extreme before making the about face and turning around. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you need to do this? What's the importance of your soul hmm. experiencing this? At to this gather time? information for source. Ah. And why are you reluct reluctant to doing this? Because it's a tall order, mm -hmm. a big mission. And this idea of separation is very... Um, it's hard to go to that extreme. Mm -hmm. Have you gone to this extreme in a different lifetime before? Have you done this before? Um, probably comes mm -hmm. to mind. Mm -hmm. Probably worse. Probably worse. So now, Which I don't want to think about. <laughs> uh -huh. So as you're sitting there with your guides, I'd like for you to now gather together the people who are going to be joining you on this adventure called the Gale Life? Who are those that are going to assist you? It's mostly my family. Mm -hmm. Their job is to push to the limits. Do you accept this? I guess I've done it for them. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel them. Feel their souls. Connect with their souls. And do they feel different than their three-dimensional selves? Connect with their souls. What do they project to you? Um, love and awareness mm -hmm. and wakefulness. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason why in the lifetime of Gail she should feel an obligation, knowing how perfect they actually are already. No obligation. No. Nope. Actually, no more cords connecting. Mm -hmm. Just allowing. Very good. And as this woman, Gail, now releases these cords, what does that do to her future? Frees, mm -hmm. frees her, makes her lighter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Floating up, yeah. Very good. Yeah. And let's see if there are any others in her life that will come and help her as a guide. Eldo? Mm hmm Eldo. What is Eldo going to be doing? Sending me the energetics. The frequencies and vibrations mm -hmm. and adjustments to my DNA and my cells, my body, my systems. Mm -hmm. Something in the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to connect with Eldo. And let's see what's happening in this body of Gail. 
She's been losing a lot of weight. She yeah. has yeah. GI issues. What's causing all of these things that are happening in her body? Dehydration, asthma. I have GI pain right now. All right, so let's focus on that GI pain. Oh, yes, it And hurts. tell me where, what's it look like? Oh, Is this something that was created by her or something attached out. to her? It's pushing out. What is this? Identify it. I don't know. Is this an energy attached to you or perhaps it's created by you? What is this? Identify it. Now. Oh, it's pushing out from my stomach. Uh huh. Does it have a consciousness? Oh, it's, um. It's like a ball with worms. All right. Like, so let's, let's yeah. speak with that ball. I'm bringing that energy up. Bring it up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Who is it I'm speaking with, please? What is this ball? Harold. 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 Harold, what is it about you that is interfering with her? Why are you there? It's a warm home. Mm-hmm. Why are you there? I'm hiding out. Harold, why are you hiding? I'm afraid. What are you afraid of, Harold? Harold, have you ever had a body before? Yes. What kind of body did you have? Um, an old man's body, lots of aches and pains. Mm -hmm. Harold, how old are you? Lots of grief. Mm -hmm. 80, 86. And Harold, how did you lose that body? What happened to uh, you? Did you die of old age or something happened to you? Oh, I want to say a fall, mm -hmm. falling from a cliff. Mm -hmm. Lots of broken bones and and um, lots of pain before I left the body. Mm -hmm. Did you die instantly? Or um, did it take a while? I think it took a while, mm -hmm. yeah. And what happened to your body? Why the worms? That's, I've compacted myself into a small little ball. Mm -hmm. And Harold, what did you find, Gail? It's a warm place. Mm -hmm. Why did you not go back home, back to Source? I took comfort in darkness. Ah. And all of this time that you've been taking comfort in darkness, what have you been doing to Gail's body? Causing pain. Mm -hmm. What kind of pains have you caused her? Cramping. Mm -hmm. What else? Bloating. Gas. Mm -hmm. Swelling. Difficulty digesting. You don't seem very happy. No. No. Would you like to finally feel relief, Harold? Yes. Mm -hmm. Harold, inside of you, although you took comfort in darkness, all this time you had a little light inside of you. This is the God spark. This is the spark that created you, your soul. Find that light for me now, Harold. It's there. Tell me when you find it. Yes. Now, Harold, I'd like for you to expand that light and make it bigger. Make it really big. And tell me how it feels as you expand that light. It feels like relief mm -hmm. and lightness of keep being. It, keep expanding it more. Make it as big as a star. Oh, it's a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. And as you receive this energy, what happens now to all of your aches and pains? 
Do you feel them anymore? They dissolve. Mm -hmm. So now that you are feeling as powerful as a star, how do you feel now that you have been doing all of this to Gail? What would you like to tell this woman about all of the pains that you've been giving her? I'm sorry. Would you like her to forgive you for that? Yes. All right. Take a deep breath in. Gail, what would you like to tell Harold? Would you like to forgive him for not knowing any better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to release Harold? Yes. Very good. So now, take a deep breath in. Harold, I'd like for you to detach all of your energy from her body. And Gail, I'd like for you to go inside of your body and begin snipping away any cords that attach Harold to your body. And as you snip them, they will dissolve. And Harold, tell me when you are completely released from her body. Okay. Very good. So, Harold, we have a little bit of work to do. I'd like for you to go back to the body that fell from the cliff. And I'd like for you to use that beautiful energy, that light from within you to begin healing that body. Send it energy and completely transform that body. And tell me how that feels when that body is completely whole. Better. Feels better. Very good. Yeah. So now, Harold, I'd like for you to go ahead to the top of her head right here. And I'm going to ask my helper, Archangel Michael, to escort you back home to the light, back home to Source. Tell me when you see him. Yes. Now. Very good. What does he tell you? He gives me a hand and says, come with me. Wonderful. Tell me when you get back to Source. Is there anyone there to greet you? My mother. Very good. Give her an embrace. And Harold, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now, I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and send his beautiful green healing light into her entire digestive system. Healing it from the inside out. Feeling all of the place where Harold was attached. Go ahead and sending that light like a beautiful ointment. Feel the feeling of that light as it caresses the inside of you. And tell me when he's done. How does that body feel? Good. Better. Better. Now we know, understand that the cramping and all of that digestive system was Harold. What is going on with the dehydration? Is that the same thing? Or is that something else? Um. Okay, so the walls Maybe like we're leaking. Mm-hmm. Was that Harold? Or something else? Take a good look at it. Yeah. Where was all that mm -hmm. water going? I'd like for you to follow 
that water now. I'd like for you to see yourself drinking that water and follow it and see what happens to it. Mm. Why is that water not being held by the cells? Yeah, sticks in the stomach. And mm -hmm. mm. What was drinking that water? Some leaky places in mm -hmm. the gut. Mm -hmm. Was that Harold or is that something else? Um, maybe parasites. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see if they're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, are they, what are they doing with the water? Hmm. Swimming in it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's speak with these parasites now. I'm going to bring the energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. What are you doing in her gut, please? Why are you parasites there? Because we can grow here. Mm hmm. Why are you choosing this woman's body to grow in? Oh, that's, we came, we came in and this is where we stayed. Mm-hmm. And who did you come in with? What brought you in? Mm. I want to say fleas. Mm-hmm. So the fleas brought you in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flea bites all over her body. Flea bites. So as you came into her body, we know that you want to flourish, don't you? Because all life wants to live. Isn't that correct? Yes. But what you're doing is you're destroying the vessel in which you're swimming in. You're needing water, and yet when she drinks water, she can't hold it in. And all life needs water. Yeah, we're taking the energy. We're taking the energy. So wouldn't it be nice for you to have your own energy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So by being in her, in her gut, it, you're never going to have enough energy, are you? It's limited. It's limited. So what we can do is we can strike a deal with you. We can allow you to transform into something else. Just like a chrysalis would transform into a butterfly. Would you like to now take the opportunity to transform into something beautiful? Yes. What would you like to transform into? Butterflies. Beautiful. So how many are you? Many. Many. All right. So let's gather you all up together. We're going to do the same transformation as what happens with a butterfly. Let's begin wrapping you up in that beautiful chrysalis. See yourself being transformed with light. Yes. I'm going to wrap you up in a beautiful blue light today. See yourself being all wrapped up in this beautiful light body, this chrysalis. And let's progress through time now. And as I send this beautiful light to all of you, begin to feel the transformation. Feel you breaking out and transforming into this energetic butterfly, now full of beautiful blue light to carry you off. I'd like for you to see yourself flowing out of her body. The swarm of all of you just lifting back to source as beautiful butterflies. And as all of your shells 
are in her body, she will be able to dispose of those cells. Decompose them and send them out. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to go into her gut and begin healing all of those leaks left by those beautiful butterflies that have flown away. It lets a wipe away all of those carcasses, disposing of them as the transformation took them out of her body. Tell me how that feels. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So I'd like for you now to see yourself drinking that water. And tell me what happens with that water now. Goes through the kidneys. Mm -hmm. The bladder. Mm -hmm. The urethra. completely sound system. Yeah. Very good. Will she continue to be losing weight? No. No. So are, any, are there any diet changes or supplements she needs to work on now that we have taken care of these parasites and Harold? Something um Microdense green seaweed. Seaweed. Mm -hmm. What is that seaweed for? Dense nutrients. Mm -hmm. Does she need to have that? Yes. All right. And what about sun gazing? Is this something she should be doing? Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Yes. Is it safe? Is it safe to do that? She wants to avoid damage to her eyes. Yeah, we'll protect you. Very good. Very good. Just follow your impulse around that when to, when to stop mm -hmm. and diffuse the light with tree leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And she wanted to know why she got sick in Sedona with severe asthma and dehydration. Were these the parasites <sighs> or something else? What was her body telling her there? Um, High vortex energy, mm. so magnifying, we, magnifying. Um, magnifying low thyroid, mm -hmm. going back on her medication. She had gone off it. Mm -hmm. She knew from that to go back on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's subtle, but it was magnified there. And the dehydration? The asthma mm -hmm. and the low thyroid cause those mm -hmm. systems in the body to not function. So it's basically all energy that has caused this imbalance. It was, um, yeah, in some upgrades. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some upgrades of good energy. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Does she need to worry about this any longer? No. Good. What about the itching in her upper arms? What's causing that? Itching in the upper arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a look and see what's there. What is this itching? Is this her body telling her something? Is this a message? Hmm. Or is this something on her arms? What is the message? Um, I'm getting, um, Heart chakra, mm -hmm. uh, giving off heat, 
um, maybe um, our energy through the heart chakra may be expanding. Mm -hmm. Is there anything for her to be concerned about? It's okay to ice. Mm -hmm. It happens at night, not during the day, and it's connected with the sun. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's maybe taking in too much heat from the sun, and it's going out that way through the heart chakra, through the body. Okay, so the body is eliminating the excess heat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, the skin is the biggest organ. That's new information. Mm, wonderful. Yes. Good. Is there anything she needs to do with that? Um, she doesn't really sunbathe, mm -hmm. and she ke and she always wears clothing, protective clothing, and a hat, which mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. um, but it's good to get a little bit of sun. <laughs> You know, walking from your car to the store mm -hmm. in the parking lot like that. Yes. Yeah. And grounding on the earth, which she does a lot of on the beach and in the sand, mm -hmm. is good. Well, she tells me that she's very connected to the Gaia. Yes. And that yes. she's connected to nature and animals, and especially all the fae uh, realms. Yeah. Can you tell her why? The fairies, the, all of those... Oh, she used to play with the fairies as, child, as a child, mm -hmm. and um, and 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 she has leprechauns watching over her, mm -hmm. and it's this connection. To Earth, and these dimensional beings are um, also evolving as we're evolving. Mm -hmm. So they're going up a scale like we're going up a scale. And they're very appreciative of that, and they want to communicate more with us. Mm -hmm. And she wants to communicate with them. So how can she connect more? Hmm. What is the best way? Because she spends already some time out in nature. Yeah. Um, not questioning, knowing that she is communicating. Mm -hmm. um, definitely in the dream state. And setting an intention to become more aware of that before she sleeps so that she can connect it to her awake time because part of 5D is connecting the dream state with the awake state. They actually merge. What There's more merging of the dream state and the awake state. What is she doing in her dream state? <laughs> But she says she says she has all sorts of different three D jobs. Yeah, what is she doing there? She's communicating um, with many sentient beings, with the elements, the dimensionals. Um, she's learning. Mm -hmm. She 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 tries so hard to learn when she's awake too, and she doesn't. She could do more allowing when she's awake and just allowing in the dream state because it's all happening and it's all good. And this communication is expanding and growing and evolving and continuing. Now, is this allowing part of her meditation? She says she meditates. She's been meditating since she was 16. Mm -hmm. When she's in a meditative state, is she in an, an allowing state? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she gets um, thoughts and ideas and inspirations. and um, And... 
and probably could rely on this more than a lot of her teachings on the internet and mm -hmm. YouTube. It could come to her more directly inside through longer periods of meditation. So this would, would be what you recommend for her to stay in meditation a little bit longer? Yeah. And just trust in that more than what she hears from other people? Yes. Well, it is her truth, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Coming through from the inside rather than relying on the outside. Right. So by living this way, how can she have a kundalini experience in this lifetime? Is this something that she is kind of uh, pushing away because she's trying so hard? No, she's allowing, but she it's is. very gradual. Okay. Has she experienced any feelings from this kundalini um, awakening yet? She had awakened energy very young from sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. And she sort of shut it down mm -hmm. from relationship trauma. Okay. Um, so it's slowly coming back and she's trusting in it. Good. Yeah. Very good. So now that we understand the purpose of this child coming here, is there any other thing that she needs to know about her purpose? What does Gail need to know? She's given a voice. Mm-hmm. A very strong voice to expand that voice not to be afraid to speak up mm -hmm. and to speak for the collective mm -hmm. and now as she understands who she is has she healed all of her triggers for all of these narcissistic relationships does she understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cut mm -hmm. the cords. Yes. Very good. Yes. Cut all of the cords. And, yeah. she, and how can she have a more flowing conversation now with the higher self and guides? Does she understand now? Be more childlike. Mm -hmm. And now she has that child within, doesn't yeah. she? Expand and grow that child mm -hmm. in the present moment. And Bring, bring that child with you everywhere you go. See from the perspective of the child, that's enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Very good. Be happy, be joyful, be blissful. Very good. Be free. And she has a companion right now, Cooper. <sighs> yes. How can she communicate in the same way that she communicates with Cooper? How can she communicate? with humans in that way. Yes. Being that love light mm -hmm. and love energy. Mm -hmm. Being more of her healed self. Mm -hmm. Being that example of being a child yes. in an adult body. Wonderful. Yeah, spreading that infectious laughter, mm -hmm. like we heard. Mm -hmm. Yes. And is Cooper here for a purpose? Is he a guide for her? Cooper sends, just beams her love. Mm -hmm. He just lays there and he just beams love to her. So he's a teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And she absorbs it and she beams it right back to him. Wonderful, wonderful. So one question that I have about the last question is, should she be moving or should she be staying where she Not is? Not now. Not now. Good. Yeah. Not now. She'll attract what she desires. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else that she should be doing with her body to assist her with keeping it healthy? With feeling the vibrations and mm -hmm. expanding the energy, meditate longer. And just allowing her body to guide her as to what to eat and drink and what supplements she's attracted to to try and see how it affects her body and if it's positive continue mm -hmm. good
Is there anything else that I didn't ask that you would like to tell Gail today? How much she is loved. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Very good. And what is the reason you brought her here today? Why was she one of the lucky ones? For her child to heal. Very good. And for her to continue on with her ascension. Very good. Is she on the right path? Yes. Good. Good. Anything yes. else? Or are we complete today? We're complete. Very good. Oh, good job. Let's switch those stones out. Let's ground you. Let's put some of that shungite in. Wow. I got like lots of stuff going on down here. Mm -hmm. Lots of energy flowing. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? And the hurt's gone in my throat. How does it feel? You had quite a blockage there. My huh? stomach ache's gone. Although I do have to go to the bathroom. Oh, well, yeah. Are we in camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? Good? Good. Very is this, good. Is this something you want to keep private? Wow, things are fuzzy. Yeah. Um, what do you think? I can share most of it, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So how do you feel? Yes, I feel good. So? Wow, I feel energetic and vibrating. So are you seeing things differently things now? Things are softer. Yeah, it's like a Renoir painting and you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's you're like. so buzzing, huh? It's, yes, I'm buzzing. I'm totally buzzing. Yes. So? Yeah. How was it amazing for you? It was amazing. So did you expect it to be like this? I mean, you've been watching some of the I videos. I didn't expect it to be that deep mm. for me. It was pretty go. deep. We went pretty deep. So you had never been hypnotized before. No. And you had one. You were wondering what it was. So now, how would you explain to everybody what it felt like? What did hypnosis feel like to you? Just like another state of being that I wasn't as familiar with. Mm, interesting. And you meditate quite a bit. Yeah. Was this anything like meditation? Um. In meditation, I kind of empty out, yes. and this with the questions mm -hmm. was going to a knowing place. Mm, interesting. Allowing knowing to come through, yeah. which I could do more in my meditation, I suppose, too. Yeah, now that you know. <laughs> now that I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? You feel like a little kid. I do. I feel like a little kid. I want to go out and swing on a swing. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Isn't that something? Oh my gosh. You had, you, you had suppressed this little child for so long. I know. Isn't that amazing? I know. So what do you like to tell everybody about this experience? Oh my gosh. It was like um, Christmas and Easter and... <laughs> And, and like this reoccurring dream I always had as a kid of rows and rows of candy in the store. It was like, that's what's coming to mind, all those memories as yeah. a kid. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, it, it's an adventure. It's such an adventure. It's a personal adventure. It's personal. It's a personal, it's different for everyone. It, it's absolutely. It's different for me. Yeah, it's, it's different for it everybody. It's my adventure. Exactly. Yes. And when somebody tries to get something you know, maybe it doesn't resonate with them. It's it's not about you. It's about my client. You may get something because we're all one, but this is a very personal, personal experience. Yes. And we all have had different journeys and we've gotten to where we are now because of our experiences. Some good, some not too good, and but they're all experiences. And I feel such a connection with you. You are <laughs> you are just unbelievable. The rock star. Mm. The rock star. So now, what is it that you do right now? Because you, you, uh, you're right now retired. How do you spend your time now? What do I you do? I spend my time in nature. Mm -hmm. Not eight hours worth, but a lot of time outside. And you said you do, do some, some sun gazing now? I do sun gazing. I take care of myself. I eat yeah. really well, all natural food. I it's kind of a time to focus on myself yes. because I was a single mom. I, I worked for 35 years. Yes. 
Yeah. So it's a wonderful time. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Wonderful. And now I'm going to be in bliss. That's, that's <laughs> great. That's, that's fantastic. So do you yes. recommend this experience to other people? I do. I wholeheartedly recommend this yeah. for everyone. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. It's very empowering. And where is it very that you empowering. live? I live in Palm Coast. And right now we're in Jacksonville, Florida. So how far is Palm Coast? One hour. Mm. 52 minutes. Nice place to visit. Oh, wonderful. There you go. Yeah, Palm Coast is a wonderful place. Shh, don't tell too many people. Won't. It's a <laughs> small community. Where everybody feels good, right? <laughs> it's barely on the map. You might not even see the little dot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So if you'd like to have a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to my out-of-town page. You have to subscribe to my newsletter. And when that newsletter comes out, it will tell you where I'm going to next. You need to subscribe. You need to click on those links immediately because those sessions go really, really fast. That's right? how I did it. Yeah, that's yes. how everybody comes to me. So yes. uh, you don't call my office. You don't text. You have to do it th that way. I have many, many thousands of people on that mailing list, and if you're meant to come here, you will be here. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I hope to get to meet you sometime soon. And thank you for watching. Bye. Can I get that big hug? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, wow. Mm.